Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor Edward Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is Dollar Value Life for Retail Method. Uh, a disclaimer here, this method is only valid in the U.S. because U.S. is the only country that allows LIFO, okay? So how does it work? If any inventory exceeds beginning inventory, we have new LIFO layer added or increasing retail prices. Each layer here carries its unique retail price index. That is usually the percentage of the increasing price and its unique cost to retail percentage. And by the way, uh, you need to know first about retail inventory method. If you don't know what I am talking about, we have a video about it and it is in our video description. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's go to our Excel file. Our Excel file, all our Excel files, they are free and the link to download it is in our video description. So Skype Incorporation use a periodic inventory system and the retail method to estimate, it, uh, to estimate any inventory and cost of goods sold. The following data are available from the company's record for the year of 2020. And we are working with the same numbers that we already worked in the retail inventory method. So that's why it's good for you to check it there. So how do we do the usual life for retail inventory method? We have our beginning inventory and net purchase at cost and retail plus net markups, less net markdowns, we have two costs of goods, uh, two goods available for sale, uh, excluding beginning inventory. That is only for the year of 2020. In the previous video, we worked with the same numbers, but only for one month. That is exactly the same. And the original goods available for sale, including beginning inventory. So we have two cost to retail percentage, the cost to retail percentage of the beginning inventory, and it's not January, it is 2020. Cost to retail percentage, 58. Less that sales, we have our estimated ending inventory at retail. Okay, how do we find our estimated ending inventory at Cost. This is the number that matters because we want the cost of goods sold. So if we want the cost of goods sold, we need the ending inventory at cost. So we have here retail price index in 2020, 1.1. What does it, does it mean? That this beginning inventory here, we have 10% or our prices increases in 10%. So, how do we find this? After all, it's a little bit higher than 10% here. The ending inventory at year end retail prices. It is. Uh, it is D. 396 divided by 120. So, okay, what do we do here? We move our ending inventory to the price of the beginning inventory. Then we will be able to compare them. So, okay. So if our beginning inventory is 320 here, the current period layers. So how much is our layer? Layer is the increasing in quantity. So here we will be able to find the, uh, the layer in quantity. It is the 396 less, or sorry, it is the 360 less 330. Because these numbers here, they are on the same price basis here. They are on the price of the beginning inventory. So what do we have here? Uh, 
dollar value retail cost retail price index beginning inventory will always be one retail price index for these increases in entity we also need to move to our uh, beginning inventory prices so it is 110 so our dollar value life for will be uh, here uh, how much it will be at costs retail price at uh, times the retail price index times beginning inventory cost to retail percentage 178 uh current layer 40 plus Plus 110. So here, what we are doing, this 40, it is on the price of the beginning inventory. However, we need to move back for the current prices. So we are uh, multiplying it by 110 again, plus 58. So here, this ending inventory, we bring the number uh, from the ending from the end of the year to the beginning of the year we found the layer of, from the beginning of the year we need to bring it back to the end of the year that's why we multiply by 110 again so our total at dollar value life for retail costs 204 so our estimated ending inventory 204 negative y because the cost of goods sold is goods available for sale at cost, including beginning inventory, our actual goods available for sale, less the cost of goods sold. So it will be 523. What if, if we don't have retail price index, if this number is one, our estimated about cost of goods sold would be 505 so the dollar value life for we have a higher uh cost of goods sold because we have a lower ending inventory because we have a lower layer here okay so that's why we have it uh lower ending inventory and higher cost of goods sold okay guys so subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching this video like our facebook page accounting hub by dr scarping like this video if you have questions or comments leave it here or email me at jscarping at have a very nice day